And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to center objects. I've got a simple white background and a logo on top. And I want to center the logo on my background. I can use the alignment tool for that. Q is the short key. You can also find it up here under tools and then transform tools. Once it's active, click on the object that you want to center. You can see these squares now in the corners. If I click on the background, here are the squares now. So this indicates that this object is now selected by this tool. Go to the drop down. You can pick the reference. First item is what we need here and then simply align it. But keep in mind that it's the bounding box that's being centered. So not the image itself. So if I crop it, let me check current layer only. Now I crop it so that the image isn't in center of the bounding box. I use the alignment tool again, select it, align it, and now it's not perfectly in center of my background. So if you have an image or an object that has content that's not in center of the bounding box, you need to select it first, then go to image and use crop to content. This puts the object that you've got, so in this case the logo, in the center of my bounding box. Afterwards, open a new file. Let me use a template here. And I confirm. I switch back to the logo, press Ctrl C on the layer, and then Ctrl V in my new project to paste it. I'm going to give it a new name and confirm by pressing Enter. It's now part of your new project and you can work with it and you can align it once again using the alignment tool. The same works for text. You can create these text boxes or simply left click. When you left click, the bounding box is as big as your text. So this is usually what you need. So just left click on your canvas and then you can use the alignment tool, click on it and align it. But if for some reason you create this text box and then let me add some text too. So now the text is not in center of the bounding box. And if you want to align it, it's going to align the bounding box and not the text. We make this one invisible. So in this case, you need to have this text active again. And then go to image, crop the content, create a new file. It's the same process. So go back to the text project, control C. Go to the new project, Ctrl V, rename it, press enter. And now the bounding box is as big as your content and you can use it in your project. And this is how you can center objects in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.